Hi there, it's Kirsten and I'm honestly so excited today because I get to share the best bed and breakfast in the Peak District. It's, it's no exaggeration. You will love it as much as I did, or we did, so stay tuned. So we stayed at Elstonfield Manor. This is the house. It's beautiful. Love the gardens, the house. So nice, so inviting. And um, yeah, it must be a dream in, in summer. This is the hallway with, a, with an amazing William Morris wallpaper. Just look at the colours. It looks so beautiful. And um, in the back, you find a boot room. I brought my wellies, which was a good idea because it was very muddy outside. But it's no problem if you forget yours. You can see you can just take some. Um, yeah, this is just... Look at all the details. Love the books. Penguin books, my favourite. <laughs> and then um, you walk. You walk onto the left-hand side where you have your breakfast in the morning. It's gorgeous. Joanne, Joe is a stylist, and just look at the fruit. It's wonderful. So um, you sit there with other people. It's um, and just chat away. It's like you get on the get on with people like a house on fire it's just amazing and um yeah there you can sit by the fire just look at oh, photos and books it's just so cozy this was my favorite room because of all the lighting and the big windows it's a drawing room where you can sit read a book chat with other guests enjoy a nice fire or a sherry. It's the best place to relax, which is why I probably didn't film as much as I wanted to. So this is our room. It's called the pewter room. Beautiful. I just love, love loved all the decoration there. You've got blue color scheme. Amazing. Yeah, this is the bed. Super comfortable. Very nice. See? Absolutely gorgeous. And uh, <laughs> there's Yerk. And um, yeah, this is the view out of the window from the bedroom. And I was lucky the other guests checked out. So I just had a sneak peek into the car room, which is a bit bigger and beautiful. There's another room called the Master that I couldn't film. There's the George. Amazing award-winning pop just a two-minute walk away from um, from Ustonfield Manor so that is just very convenient and um, Milldale is like a 10-minute walk from from the manor and the com countryside this is Elam it's wonderful there are so many so many uh, villages to see and this is Tissington, I think, so far, my favourite village in the Peak District. Yeah, there you've got Elam again, look at the... At the, villa, the no, the houses look a bit like... It's reminded me of the Black Forest, this is a school. <laughs> I don't know, this is only, you know, only England. Just love it. And this was like, if you remember the film Babe. So this is it. If you come across scenes like that, it's, I don't know, they just make the best memories, don't they? <laughs> My God, do I say just a lot? Yes, I do. Please forgive me. I try to avoid it in the in future. <laughs> um, well, I actually plan on filming a lot more, but... The place was so nice and we loved the people staying at the manor so we chatted and just sat there relaxed that I forgot to film most of the time so I mean it's a good thing isn't it um, but Jörg and I travel a lot in the country and I can honestly say that this was so far was my favourite 
bread and breakfast, luxury bread and breakfast so far. It's not, um, I'm not comparing it with um, staying in, in, a, in a pub or in an inn. Compared to other luxury B&Bs, this was the best so far. And I think it has a lot to do with the hosts, Joe and Rob. Such nice people that make you feel at home the minute you walk into the house. And um, Joe said that those of you who watch um, Escape to the Country and when they film in the Midlands, she said that the whole film team stays with them. And you should know, so there are three bedrooms that you, that you can book in the manor itself. But um, Joe and Rob also have cottages within the village, village Alstonfield, and within the estate. And Alstonfield is gorgeous. I have to say, the, the more we go to the Peak District, the more I fall in love with it. Because so many people are just all over they just mention the Cotswolds all the time or what else. Um, I don't know the Oxford area, uh, Cotswolds, Corn Cornwall, which I love. But I think the Peak District is so underrated. And now that I saw villages like Tissington, um, I have to say, I can't wait to go back. And usually I'm someone who doesn't want to to go to places or to stay at B&Bs more than, more, more than once. It might sound silly, but um, I just don't like it. Not because I don't like the places, but I just want to, to explore new things, to find new places. Um, but we love Alstonfield Manor so much that I know we will go back there and probably we will go back back there with my parents and rent some of the cottages so you should check it out it's it's a wonderful part of England if not the best it's this is the Peak District and the Peak District National Park is like is so raw it's it's England it's I can only recommend recommend this place and um, I'll see you next week bye